Hey collective, it's chatting with you and I am back with another video. What's good y'all? I know I've been like, I've been feeling MIA. I don't know, it's just my personal energy, okay? I just been trying to keep it together. So, but I definitely do be missing y'all. I be feeling so bad when I don't record or you know, when I, didn't have the energy you know to want to record like you know how you have like you want to do something so bad but you just don't have the energy the strength the courage to do so so yeah but let's see what the collective needs to hear at this time and thank you to those who do be sending love and light to me and just actually huh no i'm recording and who actually um sends me love and light and well wishes i send that energy right back to you all so let's see what come out i'm excited i feel like it's something like y'all need to hear like i'm excited okay so let's see mm, hold on hold on turn the radio on I wonder what's the name of that song. Me and my daughter love that song. But okay. Anyway. What do the collective need to see? Whoever you are, you're an amazing mom. Somebody could be like, yeah, you're needed to be gentle with yourself. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I'm being a little bit soft spoken so right now. So maybe you guys could need to be a little bit more soft spoken when you speak. Or you could be somebody who is soft spoken. Okay, so the first card out is be gentle with yourself. It's about the journey, not the destination. So it's just like enjoying your time here on earth, okay? Like regardless of what it is that you're going through, the good, the bad, the ugly, um, you know, just enjoy all of it. But it's like, don't be so hard on yourself, for real. Somebody is way too hard on themselves. I'm getting Capricorn energy, like Capricorn placement. Okay, so you got blessed and highly favored. Whoever you are, you're definitely blessed. And you have so much to be thankful for. So many, like, you don't, I don't think you realize how much spirit favors you. Okay, so you got 36 hour water fast coming out. So spirit is trying to encourage you to fast. Okay, do some sort of fasting. I'm here to get your mind, body, and soul in alignment for the assignment. So I feel like maybe um, something else is about to come up or take place in your life. And you're going to feel like um, you're being tested. But I feel like you're going to be ready. Like, it's like you, you, you've been preparing for this. I'm here on state exam. So it could be like the you know kids could be taking their state exam around this time. You know, wish your kids well. Pray over them, love on them. Okay, what else do the collective need to see? Okay, I set boundaries. I don't overwork myself. And Archangel Gabriel. So you definitely got good news coming. Something that I feel like you've been waiting for a long time. You maybe have felt like all your hard work was going on notice. I'm guessing somebody could have been doing a lot of overtime, a lot of work. And it's like maybe you felt like um, you weren't getting recognized for the work that you were doing. Or like you were putting in all this hard work and it's like maybe you were feeling like it was going unnoticed. But spirit sees everything. Like you're good but it's like don't put yourself in the energy to where you burning yourself out like you know how like somebody you 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 love what you do and it's like maybe because you do it because of that because you love it but it's like when somebody is not being recognized for all the hard work they put in it kind of almost makes you not want to do it this could even be in a relationship situation um that's what i'm picking up like you know when you're dealing with somebody and 
you putting your oil into um something and it's going unnoticed you're feeling unappreciated or you're feeling like you know like i'm doing all of this for nothing it's like you're not okay yeah you got art you gave yourself good news is coming you're gonna get some i'm hearing within the next 36 to 48 hours somebody is gonna receive some good ass news i'm also hearing like an email i'm hearing check your spam Somebody is about to be financially free or they're going to have an opportunity that's going to put them in a situation where they can become financially free. Yeah, I'm sheltered from the storm. So it's like whatever may have been going on around you, like you could have felt it a little bit and you could have been in energy like, you know, feeling stagnant. And if those of you who weren't feeling stagnant, maybe you could have, you know, been going through something where you threw yourself into work and it's like you kind of had a burnout or you kind of started feeling discouraged. Like I'm getting like somebody work was not going noticed or they felt as if they were going unnoticed and that was never the case. I'm also getting that you had to be sheltered from some sort of storm. So it was like, whatever was coming for you, whatever this blessing was, this, this good news, this good information, I feel like it did not come to you or it did not reach you when you thought it would because it was like, spirit was protecting you. You know how like I'm hearing like God, I mean, rejection is God's protection. So I feel like spirit was covering you from something. I don't know what it could have been. Maybe like if you got it right then and there, maybe you had people in your energy or people in your circle or you was in a location. Like, you know, it was wherever you were in life that it would not have worked out for you. But something is coming back around. Yeah, something was definitely like... A blessing that was coming your way had to take a detour because it was it was for your greater good. It was to shelter you from something. Somebody was trying to do something or plot up against you, and this is why something didn't come in for you. Like, I'm getting, like, say you were expecting something in the mail. This is just, like, you know, and it's, like, I can't even say that. It's just, like, something wasn't given to you because people, like the universe or it could have been somebody were watching and it's like people knew like people were expecting this to come more than you and this is why it has not come in yet somebody was expecting your blessing more than you yeah four baskets and this is why you could be in that energy of feeling discontent or feeling like you know um you're not interested because you've been putting in all this work and it, you've been feeling like it's been going unnoticed, but it hasn't. Something is, some, it is like, oh man, I hope I'm making sense to you guys. Give me more for the collective. Son of Baskets. Yeah, whoever you are, it's like you almost felt. Yeah, you got a lot of protection because I see the four of wands and now the four of sticks. Whoever you are, you went through a process of. I'm hearing grieving, a grieving process or state. You may have been feeling like I'm doing all of this and why isn't something working out for me? Why is, you know, why is it something happening how it should happen? I'm putting in all this work. I'm hearing divine timing. But this is why I'm telling you, you were being sheltered from something. Your blessing even was being sheltered from something. Yeah, now I see the four coins. It had to be some sort of protection around you. I've seen 444, four, four, I'm telling you. It's like your stability, your finances, your love life. Somebody was like, it, it was under heavy attack. I'm just going to keep it a buck. But it's like something is coming around. It was, it was that somebody was really, like I said, plotting on something before you knew it was coming in. 
And they could have even been, you know, wishing negative on you. Wanting things to happen to, you know, trying to get you to sabotage your own self. Now you got the Ace of Baskets out here. Somebody needs to drink more water. Yeah, Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something is coming in for you. Although it's coming in slow, it's coming in with some sort of movement. I feel like whoever you are, you've been practicing. Or you need to practice more. I'm hearing practice makes perfect. But I hear what it's like, it's like you got something to teach. So if you're not doing the practicing, maybe you're doing the teaching. Yeah, five of knives. See, somebody was doing a lot of this that five of swords energy. Okay. Um Lies, envy, jealousy, manipulation, drama, chaos, conflict. It was a lot of this. And see, whoever you are, it could have been pulling on your energy to whereas you felt like you could have been feeling drained. Yeah, I see the justice card. It's like something is, yeah. I'm also getting that somebody's like somebody's secrets are being revealed. Something is coming out about whatever you know, whatever year with this high priestess come, card coming out. I also feel like you're uninterested in what people have to say to you or the offers that people are bringing to you because you may feel like they're not genuine. And this could be work, you know, job related. I'm also here and be mindful, you know, when it comes to your job and people giving you offers and stuff like that, because people, yeah, five of baskets, I, that's what I picked up. People are, people are not happy with you being who you are, you calling and creating balance into your life. Somebody got some good news coming here. Give me more on this Archangel Gabriel. Somebody got some good news coming. And it's like this information was not given to you yet because I'm telling you people with that I am shelter from the storm, people were plotting up against something that was meant for you before you even got it, before you even knew what it was. Give me more Archangel Gabriel. Yeah, I'm telling you. You got the ten of sticks. The mother basket, mother coin, and John Horse versus the Emperor. Yo, whatever this was, whatever this is, this burden you're carrying. I'm hearing it's a big one. A mighty, mighty big one. So, but I'm hearing your blessings is gonna be just as big as your burden. Yeah. Ooh, somebody got something coming in around love and money. Somebody got an offer coming in around love and money. Whether it's a situation, somebody, you know, an offer coming in to put you, you know, where you need to be. Yeah, because I see the wheel of fortune. The sun of sticks in the in the in the four knives. Look, I see all the fours. Definitely protected, but it's like you're you're unique you're sp like something about you is special somebody's child could have had six fingers or you could like you know or born with six fingers you or your child but whoever you are it's some it's a, it's a uniqueness about you and i feel like you don't see it um because like I said, your work has not been going noticed. So maybe, you you know, you're feeling like, damn, you know, somebody's feeling like, are they good enough? Or something, I, I'm going to keep saying it. I feel like I'm being repetitive, but something is coming t toward you. Yeah, look, you got the Wheel of Fortune, 
the temperance and the moon. Like this is gonna sneak up on you. This balance that's coming your way. Something is balancing out. Yes, son. Something is balancing itself out. Something in your life is definitely balancing itself out. And you have whoever you are, you had a lot of energies around you. Look, I can't fucking make it up. I cut the deck on it. You had a lot of energy around you. Yeah, look, five of sword energy falling on the floor. But I feel like little by little, you seeing people true colors. Somebody thought that they had like I don't know what these people thought like because it's like all their tactics is being revealed. Somebody's tactics is being revealed. It's like whoever you are, you're on to these people. Yeah, rumors. First card out was rumors. Why is rumors out here? Who's talking? What are they talking about? Kicked out confusion. So somebody could be talking about someone getting kicked out, whether it's you or this person. I feel like you don't really know what's going on. That's why you may be confused. Yeah, whoever you are, you're sheltered from this shit. You're really sheltered from the storm. It's like you don't you don't care. You don't care to pay this shit no mind. What card is this that don't belong? Look, I can't make it up nine of coin and this don't even go in this deck and you got spell work somebody definitely was doing spell work over your money but you got gifts coming with this christmas card here somebody was definitely doing something over your money and when i say that it could be you not knowing how to make money you know you not knowing how to you just creating some sort of confusion where you may have thought it was where you may have had it you know, good business ideas or like ventures, like somebody was just trying to slow you up and they was doing an over spell work. Somebody didn't want you to know which way to go, which like, you know, what your next move to make is. And this is why you could have felt like you doing all this work and it's like, damn, why, why, why am I not getting noticed? And it was, it was somebody was trying to confuse you, make you feel like you weren't doing enough. Addictions. Terror, skeletons and terror reading. I'm also getting that it's rumors about somebody being kicked out, people having addictions. I'm hearing sex addiction, but it could be any sort of addiction. Why people do that? Cause that's what I'm getting. I'm getting look, with this tarot reading. You could be a tarot reader, but I'm also getting somebody is getting readings done on you. Somebody thought that they was going to find out some sort of information, um, to reveal some sort of sort of skeleton on you. But it's like you don't got nothing to hide. It's like the same thing people was wishing for you to be exposed or, you know, having people talk about you. Like I said, that rumors card here. But it's like it's all coming back on these people here yeah, with this submerged emotions and dead. This shit is coming to a complete end. I feel like you guarded right now, but you have a lot of protection around you. A lot of angelic protection. I'm also getting be mindful of the company you keep. Look, I can't fucking make it up. You got friendship and blame. It said I accept responsibility for my well-being. And I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So this could go many ways. This could refer to somebody, you know. Yeah, because I keep seeing that blame card here. It's like... 
where somebody where somebody thought that they could blame you for something or maybe you blamed yourself for something or why something was happening in your life but it, it, all of this was happening in order for you to grow. In order for you to get that level up, all of this was happening for you. But I'm going to just say, give more thanks. Because it's a lot of shit that you were sheltered from. Hell yeah. I'm hearing I am aware of what's going on. So you may need to say that to yourself. Like, because I'm getting confusion spells heavy. So maybe you need to add that into a mantra or like your daily affirmations. Like, you know, acknowledge that you are aware of yourself and what is going on around you. Because it's a lot. Your patience. I accept that nothing happened. Um, excuse me. I accept that everything happens in divine order. I was about to say nothing can grow or evolve without movement. But yeah, so know that. But it's like at the same time, be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself for real. Because I feel like you grew a lot. Look, and then I cut the deck on growth. Whoever you are, I grew a lot. Yeah, I want to expand my conscience and my awareness. I would tell myself on a daily like. Mm -hmm. Somebody need to write some affirmations, some daily affirmations down, and I mean, say them on a day to day basis for real, multiple times a day if you have to. Because whatever it was that was going on around you, it had you in this sort of funk, and it was like you, it's hard to come up out of it, is what I'm getting. Because with this with this confusion spells here, it's almost like you don't know which way to go. But you got some good news coming your way. Something that's going to put you, like, yeah, I'm really getting it. Within the next 36 to 48 hours, somebody got some good news coming their way that's going to help them out of a certain situation. I'm hearing a financial situation. But, you know, whatever situation you're going through, something is coming for you, some some sort of good news. Because there was a lot that was going on in the background that you really did not know about, but it wasn't meant for you to know. But you felt it. You felt the energy, and it's like, almost like, damn, why am I going through this? Why am I experiencing it? This is why. Somebody wanted to keep you confused. You could have been having, like, um, massive headaches or... Like these headaches where it's like you could still function, but it was like almost like you can find it, but you ain't doing too much. You ain't doing nothing that you like, nothing extra. But yeah, just um, stay prayed up, stay blessed up. I know that it'd be a lot. It'd be a lot. But it's like you got to just keep pushing for real. I'm hearing blood, sweat, and tears. So it's like whoever you are, you put your all you put your all into any and everything that you do. So I know what it feels like to feel like something is going unnoticed or it's like, damn, I'm doing all that I can do. Is there any more that I need to do? And it's just like, know that everything going to happen in divine timing. You don't got nothing to worry about. Okay, so that's the message that I have for you all. And until next time.